Eighth grade. Well, as you know by now, uh, 2020 has given us yet another surprise, and all we can do is just roll with it. Uh, so I started looking at what I planned to do in class today and adapted that some so that you all could finish up at home. Uh, before I get into what I have planned for the day, I do want to mention the fact that 8B is a little ahead of 8A because 8A, you guys know you have that extended art project today. So you didn't get the start that they did. So all that means really is that 8B, you're going to finish a little sooner because you got a head start. So um, as you know, we're starting our new unit and it does start us in chemistry and that's pretty exciting. And we're going to start by looking at physical properties of matter. And so today... Um, we are going to take some notes about physical properties of matter. But 8a, before you get to that, what I want you to do is to click below the link where you found this video. And uh, on that link, you're going to see the virtual classroom for the physical properties of matter lessons. And just kind of check it out. There's some cool stuff we're going to be doing in there. It's probably going to be about two weeks of work. Um, but I thought you might have fun just kind of previewing some of that. So take a minute and just kind of check out the virtual classroom. After you do that, move on to the assignment for today. And you're going to see a slideshow, which is the very last link on that page. It's entitled Physical Properties of Matter. There are 12 slides in that slideshow. If you would just take a fresh sheet of loose leaf, I know you probably don't have your binders at home, no big deal, just get a piece of loose leaf, title it Physical Properties of Matter, go through the 12 slides and take notes on those. Um, you know, you know, I like fairly complete notes, at least pull those really key points out. Make sure that you've listed all of the physical properties of matter from that one slide. I think it's the second slide of the show. And then have a little bit of information about each as you progress through the other slides. So pull notes on those 12 slides, put it on your loose leaf piece of paper, bring that piece, that piece of paper to school with you on Friday, and we'll put that in your binder and start your notes uh, for this unit. Um, so it's not a whole lot to do, especially for 8B but it will keep us progressing the way that I want to so that we can move on to chemical properties next. And we've got a really cool lab scheduled for Monday, so I think I can keep us on track for that. So please give me your best effort. Sure wish we could be together today, but uh, enjoy an unexpected, you know, hopefully light day for you. And I will see you tomorrow.